So I'm going to show you a really neat trick um, using a really common tool that all of you should have in your binders at all times, and that is just a plain piece of paper. Uh, mine is white copy paper, yours can absolutely be loose leaf. So um, I'm going to show you how this uh, plain piece of paper can be folded just once and can give us four different reference angles that we can use when we're estimating angles. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take any of my corners, it doesn't matter which one, I'm going to fold it over, try to get the edges lined up as much as possible. Okay, make a sharp crease right there. And ta-da, what I have done is created a tool that has all um, four different uh, angles that you can use to reference. So the first is the most too obvious, and that is there are two 90 degree angles. Okay, each corner of the paper has a 90 degree angle, which we also know are called right angles. Okay, um, this corner here, we took the 90 degree angle, and if, right, we took that corner that was a 90 degree angle and we folded it in half. So what do we have now? Well, now we have a 45 degree angle. Okay, we also have over here, we have a 90 degree angle, but then we've added by making that fold a 45 degree angle and we've, we're left with a 135 degree angle. And then the last one, actually, there's quite a few of them. Any straight edge would, of course, be a straight angle, which is 180 degrees. So I'm just going to label my one down here, 180 degrees. So I'm going to show you how you can use your knowledge of angles and um, this uh, tool to help you when you are estimating angle size. So over here, I've drawn uh, four separate angles, so one, two, three, four. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at my angle and I'm going to use what I know about angles to think. What class? How would I classify this angle? Is it acute? Is it right? Is it obtuse? Or is it straight? So I know um, that this is an acute angle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my piece of paper here and I'm going to choose the one angle here that I've created, which is a acute angle, which is 45 degrees. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it in there. I'm going to line the bottom of the paper up. And as you can see, this angle is just a little bit larger than my 45 degree angle. Um, so I'm going to, uh, this. I know that now this is just a little bit larger than 45. But of course, if I went and put one of my 90s in there, it is quite a bit larger than the 90. So I'm going to have a, I, I'm going to estimate how big I think this number one angle is. I want you to go ahead and write down what you think your estimate of that is. Okay, again, showing you with my 45 degree angle in there and how much is left over. Okay, so my next one is I have number two. This is quite a large angle. This is an obtuse angle. I know that because I know it's larger than 90 degrees. And if I wasn't sure, I could always just go and put one of my corners in. Okay, line the side up along with that base, the bottom ray, and I can see that it is definitely larger than 90 degrees. So I'm going to take my 135 degree angle in. Okay, I'm going to line that one edge up along with my bottom ray. And again, I can see that it's slightly larger than 135. Okay, so I'm going to have, I'm going to think what my estimate on number two would be. I want you guys to write down what your estimate is on number two. Just seeing that this is 135 degrees, and I know this is 135 degrees, and it's just slightly larger than 135. So write down what you think that is. Okay, number three is a little bit tricky. Number three is a little bit tricky because it looks like it could be a right angle. So I'm going to check. I'm going to take the corner of my paper. Okay, I'm going to line up that bottom ray along with the bottom. And I don't know if you can see, but it's just a little bit bigger, right? It covers up that ray, which tells me, or pardon me, smaller. Um, it covers up that bottom ray, which means that my paper is bigger. It means that my angle is actually smaller than 90 degrees. Can you see? Because if it was bigger than 90 degrees, I'd actually be able to see the arm of that angle, but I can't. It totally covers it up, which means that it is smaller than 90 degrees, but it's not much smaller, right? Like look how just the tiniest little bit I have to move that over. It's not much smaller. So I'm going to think what my estimate would be for that angle. 
and then I want you to write down what you think your estimate is going to be for that angle. It's just slightly smaller than 90 degrees. Okay, and last one, my number four angle. It is quite large. It is quite a large angle. In fact, again, it might even be a straight angle. So I'm going to take any of my straight lines. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to line it up against that one ray. And again, just like when we were working on the, the angle for number three, you can see that it covers that, that arm and that means that it is actually smaller than 180 degrees. But it's not much smaller. If I can just, if I just move my paper just a little bit, you can see that that gets uncovered. So it's just a tiny little bit smaller than that 180 degrees. So I want you to go ahead and I want you to um, uh, make your estimate for what you think this fourth angle would be. Okay, and then I'm going to go through and we'll actually tell you how big all of these angles are. Okay, so let's take a look at this first angle. Okay, this is the angle that was just slightly larger than 45 degrees. Um, it is actually a 50 degree angle, but because we're estimating and I'm not expecting you to be able to come up with exactly the, the right degree, we have another tool for that when we start measuring angles and that's called a protractor. Um, anywhere in this range would be a great place for you to be. Uh, we knew it was bigger than 45, so I'd say that, you know, as I, hopefully you, you estimated at least 46 and anywhere up to about 55 degrees. Anywhere in this range would be a great place for you to be. The second angle was the one that was just a little bit larger than the 135 degree angle and it is 140 degrees. But again, we're looking for a range. We're looking for that, uh, it's an estimate, so we're looking for that range. So anywhere between 136 and 145 degrees. Okay, the third angle that we were looking at was the one that was just almost a right angle, just slightly smaller than that right angle, slightly smaller than that 90 degrees, and it in fact was a 88 degree angle. And again, we're looking for a range, so anywhere from about 89 to about 83. And last but not least, we're looking at this angle that was almost a straight angle, just slightly smaller than that straight angle because it just sort of covered that up a little bit. And this angle was 176 degrees. So again, anywhere from 179 because we knew that it was smaller than a straight angle um, to about 170. And that is how you can use a plain piece of paper to help you estimate angles.